Hello everybody and welcome back to the Soul Dynasty. We have kind of uh, clawed our way back from the clutches here, from the trenches at the early part of our season, uh, but are coming off of a big, big loss to the Austin Wranglers who kind of uh, ate our lunch uh, in the last video. So we are now facing another divisional game here against the Columbus Destroyers who are off to a very hot start. They are 4-1 on the season. Uh, they kind of rank towards the bottom half, though, in the league and a lot of things. We, of course, rank bottom in everything. <laughs> After that game against the Wranglers, uh, we were kind of just trying to claw our way out of last, basically, uh, as far as rankings go here. But uh, we are only 2-3, and three, so we are going to send that game, though, and we are victorious. So we do manage to beat the Destroyers. A big first quarter uh, really kind of helps mount uh, a victory for us as Columbus is kind of playing catch up for the rest of the game. Uh, they did a good job, but they could not catch up completely. So we send them to 4-2 and two and get to 500 again again on the year with a uh, game against the New York Dragons, who have been pretty bad as well. They've got some last place ranks here uh, across uh, the board here. Not nowhere near as bad as us, but we have a great defense, but our offense has kind of been stagnant and all over the place. But their rankings overall, you can see the little sliders, their bars are pretty, pretty bad. So uh, we are going to go on the road. We're going to travel up to N. Uh, oh, I was going to say NYC, but I think it's in Albany. I think it's where the Dragons uh, were based out of is Albany. Um, Albany's a big arena football town for some reason. In case you didn't know that, <laughs> maybe you heard all the Antonio Brown stuff in the last couple of years of the Albany Empire, <laughs> and so you might know that. But uh, yeah, big, big arena town, Albany, New York, <laughs> for some reason. So we're going to get into this game with the Dragons here. And again, I've talked a little bit about like expectations, ceiling and stuff with the series and things like that, or at least with this first season. And I would love to be able to play some playoff football in the first season. I think that would be really entertaining for the series. And just, you know, that's the goal here. We want to try and win as much as possible but it's been a, a slight uh, struggle early on in this series thus far. We've, we've kind of struggled to get uh, off the ground so far. Uh, but uh, hopefully we can get right here and mount some wins together. Uh, we've kind of been struggling back and forth. We've had a rough early part of, of our schedule here. We had some uh, an, an easy game against the Rampage, and that's kind of it. Every other game has been a little bit difficult. I think the Rush and the Predators, our first two games, uh, are, are like playoff teams, essentially, and then our own division's been pretty brutal, too. So we need to pick up a, a win here against the Dragons if we can. They are 2-4 as Graziani rockets this one to an open receiver along the boards, and he makes the catch but falls over the board. So that's going to bring a fourth down now for the sole offense. Graziano's going to send the man in motion, drop back, and just take a quick second and rocket this one again to an open man along the boards, and another reception goes over the boards, but it's going to be a first down for the sole offense now. Flipping the field here uh, with an opportunity to get some points potentially but in this league, there's always an opportunity for points as Graziani makes another completion, this time to the opposite side of the field. And this one goes off the boards, <laughs> but not over the boards. He gets uh, absolutely punished into the boards. So first and goal now for the Soul here from about the six-yard line. Going to try and punch this one in for an early score. We're going to hand this one off to Ors, the fullback. And he actually has some room on the outside and gets into the end zone. Now, you've seen us try all season long uh, to try and uh, run these ones in. It's been uh, kind of difficult, but we managed to do it there. I'm going to take a seven-point lead. So so Garcia and the Dragons, one of the more notable arena quarterbacks of this time, Aaron Garcia, uh, is laying up an absolute dime to our defense, and it is a pick six. Uh, I think that's to Moten, I think. Uh, yeah, Moten, uh, the uh, defensive specialist who's injured uh, in last week's game. I made the video before. I can't even remember. Um, but uh, we take a 14-point lead here. Garcia's going to call up an audible here as they have terrible field position to start things off. Uh, and with their first drive, it was already a failure. And Garcia, from his own end zone, is going to get absolutely punished. And it's going to be a save. safety as I think Bilbo got off the edge there and got to Garcia and brought him down uh, in the orange carpet. So that's going to add another two points to our tally. So now it's quickly a 16 to nothing game here late in this first quarter. And we already have another opportunity with the football uh, on our own uh, end of the field. So Graziani is going to step up and make a completion, and one tackle is missed, and no one is going to catch him. He's just high stepping, and because he high stepped, someone caught up to him, but no one was going to be there to make the tackle, and it's another touchdown for the soul. And now this game is completely cracked open, man, like a can of cream corn, and uh, there's just no, no answer from the Dragons so far. 
It has just been all mistakes. An offense I wouldn't anticipate being as bad as it is, but 23-0 to zero is the end of the first quarter score, and you don't see too many shutouts even just by quarter, <laughs> by a quarter-by-quarter quarter basis, but uh, we are on top here by a pretty wide margin here, so the Dragons have an opportunity maybe to get some points. Garcia's uncorking this one, and it is complete for a touchdown. Unfortunately, they move the walls back a bit because that one could have been potentially dangerous uh, as he catches that one right out of the back of the end zone, uh, but that is going to be a touchdown. So New York finally answers back to our onslaught of points, uh, but we again have a, another opportunity to add some more points in New York territory, and it is uncorked by Graziani here to the end zone. I think it's Mike Brown who makes that catch uh, for the Philly touchdown. There you see the comparison in passing yards. It has just been rough, man. A whole quarter of play, and New York's got about one drive's worth of passing yards, <laughs> of passing production. So we have been clearly the better team performance-wise in this game as the score now goes to 30-7. to seven. It is essentially a blowout, but hey, man, you can always score in this league, so we're, we're just going to have to watch and see what happens as Garcia gets absolutely punished up the middle, and it is a scoop and score. And I believe, I can't remember who, but uh, I believe that's one of our, uh, our better receivers here uh, just making the plays on defense. <laughs> so... Everyone's getting involved here on both sides of the ball. That's what I love about this game. So the first half comes to a close, and 42-7 to is your score, man. And there's your breakdown between both, and it's just... Psh. It is a wash, man. This game is essentially over. Now you might know why the video is so short, man, because it is an absolute slog fest uh, back, uh, uh, back and forth. I, I want to say back and forth, but it's not back and forth, man. We've just been absolutely pummeling the Dragons so far in this game, and that's really something that we needed uh, after picking up that win against Columbus, man. If we can build some momentum and kind of keep this pace going, <coughs> then we will... Uh, we will find ourselves in a pretty good position heading towards the, the middle kind of stretch of the season, maybe get ourselves back in play for the division uh, against Dallas, who I think is currently holding it. So uh, New York's going to get an opportunity here in the second half on offense. Man in motion, Garcia's going to drop back here, and he wants another home run ball on Cork in this one, and it is caught for another touchdown. That's the same receiver who had the first one earlier in the game. So New York finally adds another touchdown to their tally, 14-40. to 40. So on third down now for... Philly. We're late in this third quarter here. Haven't done much on offense. Graziani drops back and he's going to send this one off to the side and it is caught and there's nobody back there. He just cuts up field and it's a touchdown. There was no one covering him. I don't know how he was that open in the arena game. New York must have been playing zone and just didn't really have anyone over there to make uh, the catch. So or to make the play on defense. So that's another touchdown for the soul. And so now on fourth and one, we have another opportunity on offense. Graziani here is going to send the man in motion and is going to keep it himself, make a shimmy and move, and there's no one back there. And then another man misses, and Graziani's gone. It's a rushing touchdown from the quarterback. Oh my gosh, man, everything is just going our way today. 52 rushing yards, and about 20 of those just came from Graziani, bro. Our quarterback getting busy with his feet. I don't know how many rushing touchdowns by quarterbacks of that length have happened uh, in this game or in this season, but, I mean, that's got to be one of them, man. I don't even think we've had that many, uh, that many kind of plays from our running back, or fullback, rather. So... That is going to be where we end it as far as the game goes, as we absolutely pummel the Dragons, man. Just absolutely embarrass the Dragons uh, on the road, man. We absolutely owned them and hosed this team. So that's going to give us a win streak of two now, bouncing back uh, from our loss against the Wranglers. So the Wranglers are still a team that I would consider to be kind of like the standard, I guess, of like competition in terms of like, uh, like playoff potential. You know what I mean? Like they could still be that team. So, uh, you know, if we can't beat a team like that, you know, we can beat Rampages and, and Dragons all day long, but if we can't do anything more than that, then uh, then we might still find ourselves on the outside looking in, but uh, we officially get ourselves to a winning record, I think for the first time this year. I think we've been kind of playing catch-up uh, on the losing side of things all season long, but I think after this win in New York, I think that finally puts us over the top uh, and gets us to 4-3, and three. so Graziani has a pretty solid game, man. That rushing touchdown is more than enough to, to solidify it for me. Uh, he's my player of the game, man. Look at that. 30 yards on one attempt. Absolutely crazy. And Sean Scott is the one who had the pick six uh, on the defensive side of the ball here, but we were spraying the ball out, uh, getting touchdowns from really everybody. Just, just crazy, man. So... Great game by the Soul. In the next one here, we're going to get into more division play. It's going to be a tough game here, tough road ahead. So hope to see you guys in that next episode.